Welcome to NVIDIA's point and figure chart price targets as well as Ichimoku cloud chart targets review. In the last update, we were just about here at this $1,000 breakout and it hit that $1,000 upside point and figure chart target. Incidentally, this is the 10 by 3 high and low point and figure chart. And uh, that activated a whole, this price action here activated a whole bunch of upside targets. We've got this 1060 one there and 1120 and 1130 on a different chart was also upside target 1160 and now recently 1190. And 1230 looks like the next target it's going to hit. The longer term target there is 1300 as well as 1340 and 1390. Uh, we'll have to adjust these post split. Uh, we'll redo the charts then, but so far so good. Very strong performance in NVIDIA hitting the upside targets as this rally goes along. Uh, turning to the logarithmic point of figure chart, where we have 1% by 3 move. That helps to accommodate large price movements in a particular stock. But you can see here, yeah, once again, also after breaking out of this consolidation period, hitting the 997 upside target, 1059, 1113, 1091, 1169, and 1217. The next one is 1241 uh, on there, and then there's a much longer target of 1776, but uh, we won't get to that one anytime soon. Uh, that's quite a high up target there. Do will do need some form of a consolidation before we get to those. But the two long term upside target is 1576 and 1776. So keep that in mind. Um, but very strong move. Do need to see some form of a consolidation of this move. As you can see, we have a nice strong rally out of, after breaking out of this uh, previous consolidation period. And that had a very strong move. And now this can be a much larger upward continuation pattern. And then we just uh, like a third into that upward continuation pattern on the uh, logarithmic chart. Delving a little bit deeper, looking at the 60 minute point and figure chart here, a couple of upside targets there, 1217, uh, just recently met, 1241 is the next one, 1279, 1399, so about 14% rally to that one, and another whopping 1576, so we can see we also got that uh, upside target there on the 60 minute. Interestingly, you can see the upside continuation pattern emerging here after this base breakout, strong move up. Now another new base breakout, strong move up. So this this rally still got a lot of wheels to go. But so far, so good. Quite a strong performance in NVIDIA. So keep an eye on those upside uh, medium term, short and medium term upside targets. Uh, will be interesting to see how close we're going to get to uh, 1230, 1300 and 1340. And then the 1390 upside target right there. Next up, the Ichimoku Clouds. In the last update uh, from the Ichimoku cloud chart perspective, soon after NVIDIA broke out of this kind of consolidation period there, we then highlighted that these are the upside targets as well as the new support zones to keep in mind, 110, 11074 and 1045. So these are key uh, critical support zones. But extended from the top in the cloud, so there is risk in this rally that it is a very steep ascent there. So do be aware of any kind of reversal to the downside will signal a consolidation period, both on a point and figure chart basis, as well as an Ichimoku cloud basis. If we look at the weekly, you can see we were very extended from the top end of the cloud. And uh, when this upward continuation pattern is complete from this zone to there, should give us a little bit of another consolidation like that up here. Uh, let's take a look at the four hour. You see nice strong rally there, rebounded from this front end 1074, uh, front end cloud chart support zone, 110 is the new support zone there, as well as 1160, these old highs there is a new support zone on the 4 hour there. So keep that in mind, but a very strong performance after this Ichimoku buy signal down here, as well as the cloud cross buy signal on the 4 hour. So that's been doing well, hourly chart. 
can see this fantastic rebound from this front end cluster of cloud support here between uh, 1074, 1045 and 110. You can see how that uh, support zone came into being. Now, a very strong move. Do expect some form of a uh, consolidation at some point uh, in and around these upside targets. So keep an eye on this point figure chart targets. And when we get there, watch out very closely for the price action to see if we're going to pull back a little bit or consolidate that move. But so far, so good. Very strong performance of, of NVIDIA. Very good stock. As I think there's a, quite a... Uh, a pre-split rally going on at the moment and just to be very aware of that is quite a lot of risk in this price chart because we simply very extended very vertical from a particular point in time as you can see 2024 has been a phenomenal year as well as 2023 for nvidia so keep that in mind any kind of point to figure chart reversal to the downside will signal the end of the current trend but so far so good firing in all four cylinders but extended on the ichimoku cloud chart basis but we now have got upside targets from a point to figure chart perspective plus key support zones to keep in mind just a quick fundamental recap looking at the uh, Thomson Reuters, the Reuters Starmine models uh, on NVIDIA. The price momentum model is a 98 percentile ranking, so we should see some further price movement in the stock. Also, analyst revision scores, a percentile rank of 83, tells us the analysts are quite bullish on the stock and uh, upgrading numbers there as well. Uh, interestingly enough, the other credit scoring uh, financial risk there is also good. Earnings quality has got a 100 per style ranking, so we're very uh, keen on the quality of the earnings, delving deep into the income statement and balance sheet and monitoring those factors there. Uh, multiple factors goes into that ranking. So, so far, so good. We're quite comfortable with the financials. Uh, stock splits effective uh, 7th of June. Now, the valuation remains a concern on a PE ranking basis. It's in the bottom 12 uh, per star rank of the markets. So it's not the cheapest stock out there. It's a very globally, uh, compared to global uh, database, it's quite expensive stocks with a 40 times uh, earnings multiple going forward. Uh, the industry median is 24. Uh, EV to EBITDA ratio is 32. EV to sales ratio is 21 times, also very expensive on that basis. Price to cash flow is 42 times, price to book 26 times forward. So it is quite an expensive stock. And if we look at the rankings, therein lies the risk at the moment. Relative valuation, intrinsic valuation, uh, and then the other risk factor is the insider selling. There's a fair bit of insider selling going on if we monitor monitor their uh, their activities so just be uh, be conscious of that but overall so far price momentum favorable analyst revisions favorable earnings quality is good it's just that the intrinsic valuation relative valuation remains a key area of concern just back to our point of figure chart just keep those upside targets 1230 and 1300 in, in mind and any kind of point and figure chart reversal to the downside that will signal the end of the trend. And that's our trigger point that we've got on the point and figure chart. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy point and figure and cloud chart trading. Bye for now.